Welcome back family and friends. We have another cook today. Today we're going to be making some bacon wrapped cube steak. Here's some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. We have some green onions. Uh, we're going to be using some Jim Bean barbecue sauce, tomato. Uh, we're going to be using some cream cheese, kosher salt, sliced green olives, God shells beef bacon. We have some cube steak, and we're going to be putting these on some sausage rolls on the end. Stick around. I'm going to show you how to put this together, and then we're going to head out to the smokehouse and put these on the pit boss. See you then. back. I went ahead and, and started some of these already. You can see how these look. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to do these. <clears throat> these cube steaks already come from the meat processing plant. They're already cubed up and tenderized. Okay, We're going to tenderize these more because this is a tough cut of meat. I'm going to show you how to put this together. Okay, When you tenderize it, you want to use this little bumpy side. You want to start in the middle and work your way out. Okay. You don't want to beat it paper thin. You just want to just tenderize a little bit, get you a nice flat shape. Work it to the edge. And that's all there is to it. Okay? We get this done. Grab you some kosher salt. Okay? Just sprinkle it on there, just enough to cover. Not a whole lot. And then we're going to take our cream cheese olive, green olive mix. Okay, we're going to take a spoonful of that, plop that down on there, spread this out a little bit. Now it doesn't have to go to the edges, just get it on there. Bailey, are you smelling that good stuff? What are you smelling, girl? You like that? All right. So we get this all spread out, then we're going to grab our green onions. Just put a couple in there, you don't have to douse it. Of course I like green onions. Now the next thing we want to do is roll this up. We're going to roll it up so it looks like a hot dog type shape. So what you're going to do is come down here to the bottom, flip it up. This thing is really forgiving too, so it rolls really nice. Just roll her up. Tuck in your edges a little bit, okay? Got a little opening here, just tuck it in, squeeze it shut, get you a nice little hot dog form on there. So it looks like that, okay? Come over here, grab you some bacon, flop that down. Now, the way I do it is, is I lay this out long ways, and then I take this meat and I put it right there. And then once I get it started a little, I turn it, and then I roll it this way, so it comes out nice and uniform, kind of rolls all the way around it. Okay, if you don't get it to the edge, it's okay, it doesn't matter, and this is what it should look like. Okay, I'm going to add this over here, I'm going to head down to the smoke shack, and we're going to be cooking this on the Komodo uh, Pit Boss. We're going to cook it at about 275. I'm going to use a hickory wood, one chunk, not two. We want a light smoke. Uh, we're going to let this cook for about an hour, hour and a half. Probably closer to an hour and a half. Again, we're going to cook this low and slow on indirect heat. I'll see you down at the smoke shack. All right, folks, I've had the chance to get this already preheated up. We're sitting already over here at 275, which is where we want to be. And we're going to cook this for about an hour and a half. And let's, let's go ahead and get this opened up and get these on here. Folks, we're going to be cooking this on indirect heat. You can see I have my guard in here, my indirect spacer. Okay. And then we're just going to place these right on here.
get this all closed up and we're going to get this all cooked up and we'll be back here in about an hour and a half and check on things and uh, we're going to get some barbecue sauce on there and see how this turns out. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, it's been an hour and a half. We're going to go ahead and put on our Jim Beam uh, maple bourbon barbecue sauce. See over here, they come out looking, I mean the, the bacon everything, crisp, beautiful color. Let's slap a little bit of this on here. Get a little sloppy, it don't matter. You see that coloring on there? It's a nice smoke, dark brown color, I love that color. We're going to get all this on there. We'll come back here in about 20 minutes and um, we'll get in the house and see how it comes out. Alright guys, let's get these off the grill, get them in the house, get them made up. Let's try these out. Let's take a look. Beautiful color. And they look amazing. Look at these. This is going to be really good on some sandwiches. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we are done. Take a look how these look. I went ahead and made up a couple of sandwiches. You can put these things on some buns. We've got the seasonings over here, the toppings over here. Try a taste test here on this. Let's cut one of these open. Look at that. Looks good. Should we get some bacon in there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Here we go. Definitely want to get some bacon in that. Mmm. First thing I can taste is that hickory. That hickory is really a nice taste on there. And then that barbecue sauce kicks in. These are really good. Try this recipe out. Give me a like and a share. And hit that subscribe. And we'll see you back next time here on Wally Smoke Shack. Thanks, guys.